Hey guys, Cheryl Fuller with Spiritual Wealth. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are just new joining me, I talk about the laws of attraction, taking positive action, which ends in success and satisfaction, and so much more. Talk about taking some positive action. I have my nephew here, so excited that he's joining me today. And uh, excuse us, we're in the office, uh, well, the, we're having family gatherings, but we're in here doing a video. And I just want to talk about him uh, uh, somewhat today. He is only 14 years old, and he's actually playing football on the varsity team. He is getting straight A's, and he's doing really amazing right now. So I had some, I was talking to him, and I just was like, you know what, we should do a video, because I want to just inspire other people um, with that fork in the road of those moments in your life where you kind of, decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to take this road instead of that road. And so um, I have him here with me to share uh, his uh, parts of his journey and his story. And hopefully it will inspire other people as well, other other young adults, other young uh, kids that are growing into being an adult. And so welcome to my channel, Christian Fuller. Woo! <laughs> How are you doing, Christian? I'm good, you? Yeah. Good. Really good. We have a good visit. We actually came up here to watch his football game last night. And he actually, uh, we got <laughs> ejected. He got ejected <laughs> from the game. It wasn't funny at the time. The The other uh, the other kid is okay, thank God. We, we had prayers out and we were concerned for the other kid. But he actually did knock a kid out last night. And so um, it's just uh, kind of an amazing, powerful experience. And... Um, like I said, he's getting straight A's now, but his journey has not always been a straight A student, and he hasn't always, obviously, been that. So, what do you think was like a fork in the road? We and we have an old. I have my older brother, my older brother, his older brother, my older uh, nephew JJ, which was an amazing football player as well, and he got to see um, his older brother kind of grow in that journey, and actually was a ball boy um, on his brother's team. So he kind of started out as a ball boy. And, but I know um, in junior high, I don't think, uh, I don't remember any sure? A pluses. Pro so um, I just wanted to talk to him because there was, um, he didn't, wasn't always a straight A student. And um, he's really turned his life around. I feel like he's really shot rockets of desires um, within his own life and with uh, watching his uh, sib his sibling uh, and also his cousins, actually, probably my kids as well. And so he's been taking notes. He's the youngest now in the family. He's been taking notes. And um, I, I realized that he made a decision. You made a decision, didn't you? You were telling me about it earlier. And what was that decision? Or what would you like to share? So in junior high, I wasn't always a straight-A student. I was A's, B's, and sometimes even D's and C's, and I didn't like that because I realized with my brother, he wasn't getting the best grades either, but he got a scholarship for football, so I wanted to do the same, but I want to get a really good scholarship. So what I did was I went to study, and I focused on school, and then went to sports. School's always more important than sports. So... I focused on my grades and did my work, and eventually now, as a freshman in high school, I have straight A's right now, which is really good because I study and I do a lot. And and the steps we need to take is steps like happened last night. I need to learn from it. I hit this kid. It wasn't a thing I should have done. I wasn't thinking at the time, and I learned. I need to learn from it, and I have. I shouldn't hit people that wasn't in the play so yeah definitely a learning process i think that's one thing that all of us need to realize that when you are at such a young age and they put you in that type of atmosphere that it's almost like oh shoot there's a, almost like you're kind of learning a maturity a maturity level with yeah. what that's what's coming with with that and, and it is definitely um unfortunate that you're having to learn the hard way but um yeah he's super powerful and we have super amazing, uh, we're excited for Christian's journey in his, as football, in his football journey. And I'm so glad that he did bring that up because that is really important. I think a lot of times when we do put um, a, somebody who is only 14, but they look like they're maybe 17 or 18, uh, we put them in an experience that, that maybe um, they're physically ready for, but maybe not mentally ready for. And so that's where he's having to kind of learn 
learn those processes. And I'm glad you brought that up because that is very true. He's, he's learning that. He's like, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm a lot more powerful. My strength is way more powerful than even I'm recognizing. And you're learning your strengths as you go through this process. So we're super excited. I just hope um, I want to kind of inspire other people that are Christian's age or even younger that um and also inspire the older the older people that are um uh, like his like I said his older brother did get a scholarship and then it kind of inspired him to also thrive for that and and work really hard but the great thing about it is um the great thing about it is, is you have your older brother to kind of be the the downstream, you know, you got to see what's going to happen yeah. downstream. And so I love it because Abraham Hicks talks about that. And that's where um, we want to shout out appreciation to JJ and for everybody who kind of helped Christian on his journey and was the da wants somebody downstream and kind of laying out the path for him. And so anyways, we're super excited. Um, it is his, uh, like I said, freshman year in high school and he is playing uh, with the seniors and the juniors, and he is making some major leeway. Uh, we see some uh, we see some awesomeness in in uh, the future and all the kids. But uh, we're just talking about uh, Christian today, and 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 uh, he's the one that would do a video with me, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, that's it for today. Uh, remember to stay positive, stay powerful, and stay true to you. Cheryl Fuller, spiritual wealth. Peace out. Thank you.